Police Constable Odessa Andrews was at work when she received a telephone call from her neighbors that her household items were floating in inches of flood waters. The Calcutta Maikoni East Coast Demerara Region 5 woman lost her chairs, bed, gas stove and other equipment after hours of rainfall flooded her home. Andrews, during a telephone interview with the newsroom, said she is now staying with neighbors. Gas bath floated. My chair them a floor. Oh my God. So far that chair is stuck. When I get home from work after three, the rain starts falling like one o'clock yesterday. Mm. And when I get home like three thirty four yesterday, it's sure water ends into the yard with from the street into the yard is water. Like many flood affected residents, Andrews is seeking assistance. It affected me terrible because at the moment I can't go in the water. I can't go there to do anything. My bar is at all my clothes, so everything on the line. Just so I can't even go to work today because I have no house um, to it. Other parts of the country, such as Region 9, Upper Takatu, Upper Esequibo, is also experiencing severe flooding. The Civil Defense Commission, CDC, in a press release on Monday, said water levels continue to rise, resulting in several families being relocated. The CDC revealed that communities and farmlands in the region are also inundated. The CDC has since activated its Regional Disaster Risk Management Center to help displaced persons and is working with the regional administration to facilitate accommodation at the Tabatinga Sports Complex in Letem for impacted residents. Meanwhile, the Regional Democratic Council in a statement said it has provided a boat to transport school children and teachers free of cost. The Hydromet service forecasts significant and consistent rainfall countrywide for the next 24 hours and as such the CDC along with relevant agencies are monitoring all administrative regions. The National Emergency Monitoring System can be contacted 24 hours at the numbers on your screen to report any impacts. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Pato.